Go SK! <laughs> Welcome back to SK Songs. So we're going to do first song, D, no, My God, my God is so big. big. <laughs> yes. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are his, the valleys are his, the stars are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you and you and you and you. I'm awesome singing. Our next song is a new one and it's called Down in My Heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where down in my heart? Where down in my heart? I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where down in my heart to say? And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to SK. This week, we're on lesson seven, where God makes a way for sinners to come to him. All right, let's 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 open our, our time up with prayer. Wiggle your fingers in the air, clap your hands together, and bow your heads. Dear God, thank you so much that we get to learn from your Bible and learn about you, Lord. Help us this morning to listen well, Lord, to use the ears that you created to hear about you, Lord, and give us joy uh, to enjoy all that you have done, Lord, in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right. Well, I wanted to tell you something about Mr. Mark. Mr. Mark really likes, oh, it's so big. Mr. Mark really likes sailboats. What do you think of this one? It's a, it's a very nice big sailboat. I think he'd like to go for a sail on that. Do you think, do you think you'd like to go sailing? Mr. Mark would really like to go sailing on that. But what about, what about if for his birthday I bought him a surprise? What if I bought him a nice boat like this? I mean, it's still a it's still a boat that we could go out in. Do you see any problems with this boat that might make it hard for Mr. Mark to go sailing in? If we were to go on the waves, we would need something to push, the wind to push on. The sails are broken. There's no sails on this boat. Sometimes the sails are rolled down uh, when they don't need the wind, but when they need the wind, they have to put the sails up and the sails on this ship are broken. So do you think that that ship would be a good ship? Would it be useful to go sailing in? No, it's broken. Do you think that that ship can just fix its own broken sails? No, no. And that's like us. We learned in our lesson that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And that meant that Adam and Eve then, they didn't have that perfect shiny heart that reflected God's glory. They were made to be whole, like the, like the good boat that would work well and reflect God's glory and be perfect. But because of their sin, their hearts were broken. They were dark hearts that didn't reflect God's glory. And those sinful hearts, they can't fix themselves. Now, do you remember we talked about what God thinks of sin? that the wages of sin is death, and that because of our sin, we are the, the consequence of our sin is that we will die, that we won't live forever, we will someday have death. Now, Adam and Eve, you know that every one of us born after Adam and Eve are born with that punishment on us, that we are born with the dark hearts as well, that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But God didn't create us to live with death, to live in that separation, that hell, that separation from God forever. He created us to have those shiny hearts that perfectly reflect his glory. He wants us to enjoy him most of us, most of all. He wants us to show how special he is. So God decided to make a way for sinners to come near to him. Now, the first thing God did was to make a way to cover the sin. So that would be like this. If I decided to clean the floor and I just, I put the dirt underneath the rug and I put the rug back over top, the dirt would still be there. But if my mom came into the house, she wouldn't be upset because she wouldn't see that the house was dirty because it would be hidden, right? That that would be hidden from her and it would make my house acceptable to my mom. So God's way to cover sin was not by using a rug, 
but by the sacrifice of a lamb, the sacrifice of an animal. So God uh, made this plan that by killing an animal, there would be blood shed. Now we all have blood and all living things have blood in them. And that blood shows life. So by shedding the blood of an animal, that would cover the sin. That would show that people understood that their sin was a bad thing in the eyes of God. That the wages of sin is death. That would be shown by the killing of this lamb. So that would be a punishment that would take away the sins, or cover away the sins of the person. Now, do you think that, yes, by, by killing that lamb, by cutting that lamb, and they would offer that blood to God. So Abby's going to come back to me. Thank you. And in the Bible, do you, you kind of wonder, what did people do about this? Did they believe God? Did they follow him in this? Well, we know that Adam and Eve had two sons, at Cain and Abel. And in the Bible, in Genesis chapter 4, it says, In the course of time, Cain brought to the Lord an offering of the fruit of the ground. And Abel also brought of the firstborn of his flock and their fat portions. And the Lord had regard for Abel and his offering, but for Cain and his offering, he had no regard. So Abel brought what God required. He recognized that his sin was punished, was, was a grave thing that needed to be punished and that the wages of sin was death. And so Abel killed the firstborn and he brought the fat as an offering to God. And Cain brought his vegetables. Now, do vegetables have blood in them? Are vegetables alive in the same way that animals are alive? No. So God was not accepting Cain's offering because Cain didn't follow what God wanted him to do as a sacrifice to cover his sins. So Cain and Abel, they were both born, just like all of us, with dark hearts. And you'll see Abel on the side with the little lamb, the firstborn of his flock. And he brought that to God to show, I am sorry, God, that I have sinned. And Abel, I came with the dark heart, brought the sheaves of wheat or some sort of grain that he had grown. And there was no bloodshed from that. There was no life lost from that. It kind of showed God that Cain was not really sorry for his sins. He didn't recognize that they deserved death, that his sins were worthy of death. So you'll see that that blood covered Abel's dark heart. And Abel, Abel then had a red heart that was covered. That dark heart was covered by the blood of the sacrifice. So our verse for this week, without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins from Hebrews 9, 22b. All right, well, keep working on those memory verses. Lots of you are telling them to us on the Zoom call, um, or you can send them to me, that's no problem, and we will mark that off. Well, the sun has changed position outside of the window. I hope you can still see me because it looks like I'm in a fog. It's, it looks like the Byzantium house is ready for sailing. So it's all foggy and we're going out to sail in the fog. We hear the fog horns. We don't hit the cliffs. Oh, Mr. Mark has come to rescue me. Oh, there you can see me again. All right. Well, let's close our time with prayer. Wiggle your fingers, clap your hands together, and bow your heads. Dear God, thank you so much for this time we could have together to learn about you. Thank you that it, you made a way to cover our sins, Lord. That you recognized that we were going to sin and fall short of your glory, Lord. I thank you that you made us to perfectly reflect you. And in your presence, Lord, there can be fullness of joy, but we choose sin. Lord, thank you that you made a way and that you're going to make an even greater way. Be with us this week. Help us all to enjoy living the life that you gave us to live, Lord. Help us to bring glory to you in all we do, Lord, and protect us from all harm. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, enjoy your time with Ainsley and Hadley on the... Uh, fitness time and with Andrew with the craft and we'll see you on the zoom call bye boys and girls hi everybody we hope you had a good week it's time to do some exercises and we're gonna get started with some stretches so first let's stretch up the legs a little bit good and our other leg oh tricky balance <laughs> <laughs> And let's touch our toes. Oof, it's painful. <laughs> yeah. All right, good work. Let's see what our first exercise is. You can spin it this time. Oh, 
frog jump. Oh, we haven't done this one yet. A new one. Good. Okay. Hey, right, everyone, bend down all the way to the ground. Put your hands on the ground and jump as high as you can. Ready? Three, two, one. Boing. Boing. We'll do two more. And bonus one. Good oh, that job. Was tiring. <laughs> okay. I'll spin this. Okay. Oh. oh. Inchworm. You haven't done this one in a while either. Okay, put your hands on the ground and walk your hands forwards. And then walk your feet up to your hands. And then go back. Put your hands down. Walk your feet backwards. And then walk your hands back to your feet. Good job. Good job. All right. Let's see what our last one is. Oh, chase the rabbit. Chase the rabbit. So put your hands on the ground and then bring your knee up to your chest and then other knee, other knee, and then go as fast as you can. Chase the rabbit. Chase the rabbit. Nice job. Good work. See All right. Next. Good job today, everyone. We'll see you next week. Have a good week. Bye. Hi, guys. It's Andrew, and I'm here with the craft for this week. This week is our second part of our craft from last week. You remember we made the apple craft with the dark heart that says sin. Now, let's get into the second part. Okay, let's start with step number one. So, you're gonna to wanna to take a piece of colored construction paper. I use, bl I use black, because it stands out, but you can use any color you'd like. And we're gonna cut out a cross. So, let's cut one out. You might need your mom and dad to help you, so if you need help, just ask them. Step number two. You're going to want to take something shiny. I chose some tin foil, what you might find in your kitchen. Now, out of this tin foil, we're going to cut a nice, big, shiny heart. Let's do it together. And there you go our bright shiny heart. Step number three, we're gonna take all of our parts that we made and we're gonna glue them onto our apple. Let's do it. And you're finished. Now remember the story. We learned that Adam and Eve sinned, however, God sent Jesus to die on the cross for us so that our hearts don't have to be black, but they can be a bright silver. They can be clean and good. Thanks for joining us. See you next week.